potassium. To potassium. Sodium. I hope we haven't lost our way cause it feels that way to me But I know that when I see you, oh I never wanna be So don't be so mad, I know that It's easier said than done when it feels like it's hopeless I'm begging you please hold on Maybe the reason tossing and turning my friend I'm sipping on the rest of my hydration drink from this morning which I totally forgot to film yeah I wanted to share another hydration recipe I like to drink mineral rich things throughout the day so I am NOT gonna just make my hydration drink like a million times I usually just make it once have it but this is a hydration drink recipe that is perfect for the hotter weather, it is so hydrating and it's very, just, it's its own drink. It's its own thing. I don't know if I wanna do this glass or if I wanna have my little flower. We need to do a flower. Oh, is this a lemon? This is a lemon. I think I ran out of my sweet limes. I'm pretty sure I did. I ran out of my sweet limes. They're so good, I get them at the farm, but you could do a lime or a lemon. I'm gonna do a lemon today. I'm gonna do a third of a cup of coconut water. Um, organic coconut water. So a third of a cup of that. And then I probably will add my ice right now. Probably use up the rest of this one. This is actually a coconut water powder, but it also has the baobab, baobab. But this is just pure uh, dried coconut water and then the bao. And then there's like pineapple, ground pineapple. I'm almost out of this, so I'm just gonna add in like a big, probably like a tablespoon. That's probably a tablespoon, so. I'm adding that in there for some extra minerals. Then I'm gonna add a nice pinch of the Celtic sea salt. Get in our sodium there, a nice big pinch of that. Sparkling mineral water, we're gonna top it off. So I'm gonna add that in. And then uh, that's probably good. And then I'm gonna add in some ice. Here's, it is different from my usual hydration drink. And I love the way that this tastes and I love that it has the sparkling water. It's just really fun. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You have to make this.
Oh, oh, you're gonna spill it. To potassium. To potassium. Sodium. It's really good, babe. Ooh, that one's actually. It's crazy. I can taste the difference between the Every Trader time. Joe's yeah. compared to Costco celery. Uh -huh. But then you have the farm celery. What do you think this one is? More like less salty? I think it's a little bit less Costco's salty. Costco's super salty. Costco's this is really has a little bit more of a different aftertaste. Celery taste. flavor, like the yeah. actual celery but instead the farm of one, man, that's just smooth. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Costco's. I like Costco's a little bit Costco's. better too, yeah. It's probably, this one's a bit darker. The color actually. looks this darker healthier, too. healthier, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But. Can you cheers being empty? Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna make a smoothie, because I'm not quite hungry for dinner yet. Even though it is 5.30, I'm gonna make my favorite smoothie. Let's do it. It is, this is the best smoothie that you will ever make. It is fantastic, it's so good. Okay, we're gonna make my famous, well not famous, but we're gonna make the most, my favorite smoothie of all time. I have two favorite smoothies of all time. Number one is the acai blueberry smoothie. That is absolutely hands down amazing. And then this one, there it just depends on my mood. So I'm gonna start out with a cup of frozen cherries. It's probably more than a cup. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is organic cacao with maca. I love that it has maca and it's really great for hormone health and just helping with ovulation. So let me grab a little spoon. That's why I call this like my little hormone health, hormone gut health smoothie because you support your gut health, you support your hormones. Our gut is directly tied in with our hormones. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do like a teaspoon of this. So this is organic cacao and organic gelatinized maca powder. And that's what you wanna look for. You wanna look for gelatinized maca powder. So, oh gosh, okay. And then I'm actually gonna do a little bit of inositol, which is really good. This is an indirect source of glucuronic acid, which is very amazing for liver health. So it really, literally it says supports liver function. And then and that's basically like a B vitamin. So, and it's great for blood sugar regulation, also very supportive for ovulation. That's why I love, I love chatting about all the things that I'm putting in here. And then I'm gonna do half of a banana, which is really important for potassium. It is one of the biggest things that I see with all of my clients, all of my friends that I help, people are not getting enough potassium. Also, I'm gonna do a scoop of my favorite protein. This is the Equip. Prime Protein Chocolate Grass-Fed Beef Isolate Powder. This is stuff is so good. I cannot explain to you how delicious this protein is. And protein is very important, very important for, oh gosh, I, I just can't even begin to go in it. Our liver really needs amino acids and protein for detoxification. That's the thing. When you hear like, oh, your body's always detoxifying, the body has to have certain nutrients in order to detoxify. The body has to have certain nutrients for those pathways to run. So it, it yes, it's happening, but it doesn't happen. It's like the fire doesn't light without the spark. Do a scoop of our chocolate protein. My beloved armor colostrum. That's the thing. It, I used to react to so many different foods. I was always reacting and I always thought it was the food too. Like I would eat something and then I would get bloated. I would feel so uncomfortable like super gassy, painful, just like stomach pain. And that's the thing is that I always thought it was the food. For a long time, I just thought, oh, it's the food, so I just need to remove the food from my diet. But really, it's a barrier issue. It's your gut wall issue. And if that wall is permeable, if it's letting in those triggers that come in and trigger the gas, the bloating, the pain, we want to fortify that wall. We want to strengthen that wall to protect against those things. And that is exactly what Armour does. Armour Colostrum literally strengthens. That's how it works. It strengthens your gut barrier. It it, it literally, it the, the way that I like to put it is like, it is basically like an architect that comes in and rebuilds everything. My grandfather was an architect. And I always, th I always think about that. I always think about like, some old beautiful old church in Paris that you know you see all the scaffolding and you know when those people come in and they repair the old building that is that is like basically armor but for your gut it comes in and it strengthens your gut wall barrier so that those irritants can't come in and trigger bloating and gas and the pain and and not only do you do you feel a difference in your gut not only have i felt a difference but you actually see a difference because when you support your gut your hair gets supported, your skin gets supported. When my gut was at its worst, my skin was breaking out all the time. I really struggled with acne for 
so long, directly tied in with our gut health. There is no other product even out there on the market like this because this is a bioactive whole food. And that's the thing is that this actually works in a way where it's feeding your good bacteria, it's feeding your microbiome, and it's also giving your body the antibodies, the peptides. If I'm going to put something in my body that a company is putting out, it, 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 glyphosate free. Like we, they've got to be testing for glyphosate. It's an extra step that most companies don't do. They do it. Armor, Armor goes there. Armor Colostrum tests for glyphosate. It's completely glyphosate free, which is the, one of the biggest gut offenders that's even out there. Remember when I did my GI map back earlier, like a few months ago, when I got my test back and I saw my IgA levels, this is probably why I was like, I'm feeling so good because look at my IgA levels were literally in the green and that just speaks for itself. And that's the thing is this contains antibodies, okay? And everything that I have been through with my body and everything that we have lived through with the mold and just everything, I am so incredibly grateful for a the the most powerful food honestly i think to ever even exist there really is nothing out there like colostrum and because this has antibodies in it th this ha an antibody is the thing that literally fights off the bad guys if you will in your gut and the fact that this contains antibodies that's unparalleled there there that's unheard of it is incredible i will never take for granted being able to just eat food and not get triggered by it and not feel bloated and not feel uncomfortable and i think that every body literally every body has the right to feel that way to be able to enjoy food and not feel uncomfortable and not feel bloated to have something that not only you can feel a difference in but you can actually see a difference and i feel like my hair i know my hair is up but i'm serious my hair has grown so much since I started taking Armra. Okay, I think I put enough scoops, but I'm so excited. So you can go to tryarmor.com slash Cambria and you're gonna get 15% off of your order. This is absolutely incredible. I've recommended this to so many of my clients now, even as a practitioner. And even the doctor that I'm studying under talks so much in depth about peptides, proteins, amino acids. This contains peptides. And what does that mean? What does that do? Proteins are the building blocks of everything. Okay, that 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 is what that is what that is. This is the most potent bioavailable colostrum that's on the market. So link is in the description box. Again, tryarmor.com slash Cambria. You're gonna get 15% off. I'm telling you, if there's one thing that you could do for your health, it's to focus on your gut because your gut controls everything, your hormones. Look at that. IgG, IgA, and prebiotics. Don't even get me started on prebiotics. Actually, I always talk and you're like, Cambria, don't stop talking. Okay, let me just tell you one more thing. If you are not regularly consuming prebiotics, my frozen cherries are probably becoming unfrozen, but let me tell you something. If you are not consuming prebiotics every single day, and when I started consuming prebiotics and adding prebiotics into my diet, your gut, you are feeding the this little gut bacteria called acromancia. Prebiotics specifically feed a certain bacteria in the gut called acromancia. Acromancia is directly involved now with the studies that are coming out with helping with blood sugar regulation, okay? So if we are not eating a diet that's rich in prebiotics, I will tell you, you will have so much of an easier time balancing your hormones, okay, by feeding this good gut bacteria that helps to regulate your blood sugar, okay? Because regulated blood sugar supports ovulation, which supports progesterone production, which opposes estrogen and keeps everything in balance, okay? Hopefully that wasn't too overwhelming, but basically we trace it back. Hormone health, ovulation, progesterone, blood sugar regulation is a pillar of that. We have to be regulating our blood sugar, but it's not our fault. If we don't have this certain bacteria in our guts, that is fed by prebiotics, okay? You could eat the same diet as somebody else, but because your gut bacteria is different, your blood sugar is gonna look a lot different because those little bugs in there, those little bacteria, your, that part of your microbiome feeding those good, those good guys in there, that's actually gonna promote blood sugar regulation, okay? I get super, super into this, and that's the thing. I had no idea about that, and and what's important is it's important to feed them every single day. It's really important to continue to, to nurse them, especially if you're trying to repopulate the good bacteria, you have to be consistent and take it regularly. So that's why I take this literally every single day. It is the best. That is my little nutrition chat. Please help me come up with a name. If you help me come up with a name, I am doing a giveaway. This is the, this is the giveaway part of the video. If you help me come up with a name for my little nutrition chats, 
my little my little health something with cam cambria but nutri i don't know come up with a name and if you come up with a winning name i'm going to send you a little something i'm gonna send you a little something i'm gonna send you i'm gonna send you a little gut love pack okay filled with all my favorite things I need to put the frozen cherries away, but seriously, I love talking about this stuff though because that's the thing. It's helped me in my life so much. <sighs> it makes me happy and I love that you get a discount. It just makes me happy. I'm just so grateful and I genuinely love, love talking about all this kind of stuff. Wish somebody would have told me years ago that Cambria, you're having hormone problems, start with your gut. Okay, so I added in probably like half a cup, maybe a cup of milk and then we're gonna blend this up and I'm putting the bee pollen on top. Don't even get me started. The dark pigments, the cherries, the dark cherries, that feeds the good bacteria in our guts. I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of that right on the top. I really need to go grocery shopping, so maybe we'll actually go grocery shopping tonight. Cheers to our hormone health. Cheers to hard things in life being redeemed. I genuinely think of my little baby star who I'm so grateful that I'm just so grateful for their life and that I, God really led me down the path of becoming a practitioner and I'm just so grateful. Oh my gosh, I'm literally gonna tear up. Why do I feel like I'm like doing a toast at a wedding or something? <laughs> I love helping you. I think I'm crying in every single one of my videos. I'm so grateful that I get to share my story and share everything that's helped me in my life and my body and hopes that it can help you too. So cheers to that. Mm, aside from everything good, in this smoothie. The taste of this, scrumptious, delicious. Scrumptious reminds me of more of like a baked good, not so much like a smoothie. Scrumptious, you know what I mean? Like I feel like scrumptious doesn't really go with smoothie. This is decadent though. I would say this is a decadent smoothie. I'll tell you something, that is good. And don't even get me started. The B, the B vitamins that are in the B pollen, there is a reason that I talk about these things all the time. Honey, do you wanna try my smoothie? Hey, babe. Yeah. What do you call me laying in the sun all day? Sun baby? What do you call me laying in the sun all day? A sun baby? Scrumptious. You said it was a baked good. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm gonna, made up a joke when I was in here. Like, what do you call me laying in the sun all day? Scrumptious. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Are you trying to Madagascar us? Is that ridiculous that I had to go on my tiptoes? Mm, pretty much. Whatever you want. Beets. You have baby plums. No. <laughs> we have I'm going up top. Careful up by one chasing the city to Definitely getting those. We love a Costco summer spring moment. It's for our future herb garden. But then you said wine barrel. Yes. Oh, so I'd much rather do barrel? find a wine barrel. Okay. It'll look better. On the wrong foot, a willy. <laughs> it's a willy. Did you check the eggs? <laughs> We're okay. That was that was perfect. Yep. That's our last one before our trip. Watch. She thinks I'm not funny on camera. <laughs> Lost both. I have no idea where he went. Oh, where have you been? <laughs> yeah, I would have forgot that actually. Good job, not me. <laughs> That's cute. All right, it's time to make dinner, but we're gonna do a super fast grocery haul overview. We got my favorite bread.
We have our eggs, dates, very delicious, full of minerals, pears, super high in fiber. So sad, Costco is out of our usual ghee, but I do really like Fourth and Heart. Up our favorite painter land. I always remember I used to say pasture land. And then I picked up some cream cheese. This is my favorite cream cheese from Green Valley. It's really good. And then easy protein, cottage cheese from Good Culture, my favorite one. We got our raw milk, some beets, fantastic for your liver. And then some Kalamata olives, keeping our maple syrup in stock for our London fogs. Let me show you what I got from World Market. I just picked up one thing, but let me show you the rest of the groceries. Bag of sweet potatoes. We have been eating so many green, actually I'll probably make some green beans tonight. We've been really into roasted green beans and I've been using them in my Niçois salad as well. I really like these hippie organics. And then more butter. We were out of our butter and it was on sale. I always love when you run out of something and then it goes on sale. You're like perfect timing. And then some more Greek yogurt and our celery. I was so happy to see that they had two, they had three technically left, but I was able to get my two raspberries. This is my secret to getting fiber, is the raspberries. And then, and I was so happy too, because I we ran out of our Bubby's pickles and I wanted to get more. And then they have them at Costco right now, so I was so happy to see that. These are really good in tuna and stuff. So that is our little grocery haul, but we're gonna make dinner right now. So dinner is officially in the oven, but I wanted to show you my seashell bookends that I got from World Market. They are marble. They are so beautiful. I cannot get over these. And my old bookends broke when we moved. I am just in awe of how much I love them. Okay. Here is tonight's chicken recipe. These creamy oven baked chicken thighs and it looks really good. For the poultry seasoning, I just did my own with like rosemary, marjoram. If you wanna screenshot it, take a picture of it. And this recipe binder is so cute. Bo! Super easy dinner, baked chicken thighs. We got the green beans, leftover sweet potato. That was so quick to throw together. It's really good. Is it? Would you want me to make this chicken again? Is it that good? Whoa. Oh. I didn't realize I re I'm so out of it. I was just like, that's pretty fantastic. Green beans are good. Mmm. Where's my button? Where's is that was easy button? <laughs> What'd you do, bite your tongue? Large bug, large bug. I feel like it's watching me. Mm. This is really good. Are we ma- Are we matching? We're matching. It's time to have a little hydration before bed. I'm not gonna do, uh, I'm not gonna have, what is it? I'm so tired, I need to just go to bed. Oh, I don't really feel like having my little knock me out milk. Usually I'll have that, Bo had one tonight. I just wasn't feeling it. So I am gonna show you though what I put in my water before I go to bed. Just to help with like relaxation and sleep. So this is glycine, this is pure glycine powder. It is an amino acid. Let me get, it's an amino acid that really helps with relaxation. This is like rest and digest. I'm telling you, glycine is like the secret. Glycine is magical. In goes the glycine to my water. And then also, I just ran out of this one. It's so funny. This is like the old packaging of it now. But this is a Nositol. And this is the Jaro brand. This is amazing for blood sugar regulation. I love a Nositol and glycine for sleep. It's the best combo. I miss making my jello. I need to start making jello because that's a really good source of glycine. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to bed, but it was so fun hanging out. I really loved hanging out with you today. It was just amazing. I've already had my element pack today. I forgot to show that, but I 
you already know. You already know I already have my element pack every single day. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed, but that was my day of eats. I loved hanging out with you today, and this way of eating has really, really, it's so funny because I've always eaten protein forward meals. I've always loved just eating foods that obviously make me feel good, that are just nourishing, yummy meals, whatever that looks like. But when I really became intentional, like intentional about hitting enough protein every single day, it completely changed my hormones and my cycles. And I started focusing on, on protein and fiber and making sure that I get enough B vitamins and making sure that I'm just focusing on my gut health. I'm just so thankful for just that foundation because even going through what we went through living at the moldy place, protein is really also super important for immune function. That's actually how we make our antibodies is protein. Those things have really changed my life. Protein, fiber, B vitamins, and gut health. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget, you can go to tryarmor.com slash Cambria and get 15% off. I will keep talking and literally say bye probably a thousand times just because I'm in a happy mood and I just like hanging out with you and I don't want to stop talking. But anyway, okay, goodbye. Okay, good night. Bye. It's easy, it's